Welcome to our tutorial about the fold tool. In this tutorial, I'm going to reverse engineer a box from a flat pattern. Let's start with the line tool to create our sketch. And let's close it. Right click, done. Now let's apply some equal constraints between this line and this line, this line and this line, this line and this line, lastly. Now let's apply some equal constraints between the corners on the side. And all of the short lines are equal. Now let's dimension our lines. This side will be 40 millimeters. And the shorter line will be 10 millimeters. OK. Let's place a line between these two corners. Right click, done. Select the line and convert it to construction geometry. Let's apply a coincident relation between this point and the center point. The sketch is now fully constrained. Let's right click and select Done. Now let's create some bend lines for our flat pattern box. Be sure they're coincident with the existing sketch lines, otherwise, the bend tool is not going to work. Here's our first line. Here's the second. The third. And the final bend line. Right click, Done. Let's apply some dimensions. This gap will be one millimeter. Next, this dimension. It'll be equal to this dimension, okay. We need to place two more dimensions, all of which should be equal. Okay. And the sketch is fully constrained. Let's exit. Take an isometric view. Let's apply the face tool. First, we'll select all of the profiles. Reverse the offset direction and click OK. Now let's right click on sketch one and share the sketch. Next, let's activate the fold tool. First, we need to select the bend lines. We then specify the flip side and the direction. You see the two green arrows here indicate the flip side and direction. The fold angle, let's leave it 90 degrees. Lastly, here we need to specify the fold location. We have three options, center line, start of the bend, or end of the bend. We're going to use the start of the bend option. Let's click Apply. And now we're ready to select our second bend. Reverse the flip direction. Fold location will also be the start of the bend. Click Apply. Let's do our third bend line now. Same options are pre-selected now. Let's click Apply. And the last bend. 90 degrees, start of bend, click OK. Let's zoom a little closer into this corner. I see that I've gotten more room to move the bend lines closer to each other. The distance between the bend lines is controlled by this dimension. Let's use half a millimeter instead and click OK. All of the other dimensions will modify accordingly. We update our model. The gap becomes smaller. Let's create one more sketch now. I'm going to use this face. If I create a line which is not coincident to the edges, let's try it out, exit, and let's hide sketch one. Okay, now activate the fold tool. As you see, I'm not even able to select this line. Let's cancel out of the fold tool, double click on our sketch, and let's make the line coincident with the top edge. Exit the sketch. Activate the fold command. 
As you see, I'm able to select the line now. Let's click here to reverse the flip direction. And let's use a 45 degree fold angle. OK. And this concludes our tutorial about the fold tool.